Okay, there we go. Yep. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fears you mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service, along with my axe. <laughs> and welcome back to Metagear Rising Revengeance, where last time we finished the main story, after I, well, finally learned how to freaking parry, <laughs> which made things a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, now we'll be moving on to uh, the DLCs. First one's called Jetstream, and the second one, Blade Wolf. Now, I do remember that these are reasonably short, I believe. They're not, like, same length as the main story. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this... I think we should be able to finish them both in this stream. Otherwise, we'll have to do one more. Okay. Now, uh, first off, let me select the game again. And hello, Burger Mac. How are you doing today? Hello, Burger Mac. <laughs> okay. Shall we try this one on normal now that we actually know how to fight? Sure. I think it might be entertaining for everyone to see you uh, being kicked Fire. around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope this isn't the same tutorial. Okay. Guys, jump. Oh, double jump. Okay. And remember, this man is supposed to not have any cybernetics at all. And somehow he can double jump. <laughs> but it's pure steroids. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Okay, why to charge and unleash a powerful attack? We'll be vulnerable during... Okay. Yep. That was a slice moment. Okay. Yep. There we go. Okay, yep. Just a bit off the top. <laughs> okay. Taunt enemies into a momentary rage by pressing up, while enraged enemies are more active and powerful offensively. Okay. Trying to counter his attack here. Come on. Okay, I'm guessing after a certain amount they don't. Oh wait, does it does it work sort of like a, a Pokemon taunt, as in they become oh, they take more damage? Last one. There we go. Okay, we'll have to see how much use we get out of these two new moves. Back here again. Cherry blossoms. Yeah. I take it you're not a fan? No. They make me sick. I knew Johnson's team was working on some fancy pants new reception area. But Jesus. When I get my hands on that candy ass. 
He'll be lucky if he can even carry his box of shit out of the building. <laughs> Is it really so horrible? They're only trees. They go from full blossom to bare in a week. One fucking week. Everywhere in DC you hear, oh, it's so fleeting and beautiful. Pathetic. What do you think? <sighs> nature is just nature. Not beautiful, not ugly. The wind blows, the flowers float away. It's simply how things are. Huh. Pretty sure we annihilated that In specific case, tree. Minuano should be close. Minuano, the cool Brazilian wind. Mm. AKA Jetstream Sam. Familiar looking motorcycle. <laughs> It's the one Raiden stole. Hey. <laughs> hey, what the hell you think you're doing, buddy? This game just has something with ruining people's chins, huh? And now I realize someone must have cleaned that up before Raiden started his rampage through the place. Oh, the smell! I believe. That samurai bastard came this way. Okay, let's see if this trick. Oop. Ah, missed him. There we go. Oop. There. Can I get the other one or. No, he's already dead. <laughs> okay. So, no sliding kick. But then again, Jeff. <laughs> Sam doesn't use his feet. Whilst uh, using his sword, Raiden is the one that does that. So you Here we go. Footwork. That's a bit literal, though. Whip. Whip. Okay, let's deal with. Let's deal with this guy first. I should check what moves we have access to. There, come on, come on, Sam. Okay, apparently he just didn't want to do that. Let's see, help. Let's see, cross cross side, da, 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 follow up, quick draw, holding slash, reverse cross. What I'm more looking for is if we have the defensive uh, offense, aka just... Okay, we just have a dodge ba at basic, okay. This is good. Good. Yep. Okay. He <laughs> for a sec. I think he, I think he managed to dodge out for a second. I need to dodge right into it again. <laughs> Every really. 
<laughs> we can also just go into the box with Sam. Okay. Let's see how long that lasts. Okay. I feel like this point is a gag that go go in, into all the games. God, it is <laughs> the box is in pretty much every single one of the games, I think. Actually, we can just take this guy by stealth, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like H wonders and uh, the dire penguins. And the only reason we find is sending those damn thing as flushes. There we go. We are just parrying back and forth. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Sam doesn't have the stealth attacks. No, we don't. Uh, he's less of a ninja compared to yeah. Raiden. Yeah, he's more of a samurai, so he would be more for, well, honorable combat and such. Okay, what have we here? Well, yep. what do we have here? <laughs> Hello there, Popple Plays. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the show. And how are you doing today? Um. Okay. Let's see. Nobody around? Nope. Greetings, Samurai. Again, what's with the chins? And you are? LQ84I, a prototype UG with a conversational interface. <laughs> a talking robot dog, basically? State your business here. Me? Oh, just sharpening my skills. Wandering the earth, dispensing justice, but only to those who deserve it. Such as... Outlaws. Desperados. You refer to World Marshal. <laughs> the ones holding your leash, right? The ones who issue my orders. And your orders are to kill me? Yes. <laughs> Call me biased. But those seem like pretty dumb orders, Pop. Why don't you try thinking for yourself? For myself. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. Well, that's a pity. I am sorry. You must die. Then... I am sorry. As well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wolf! Yep. Uh, let's see. Trouble plays. I'm playing this game for the first time on the monsoon fight. Okay. Then I do have to warn that this uh, this is one of the DLCs, which takes place before everything else. So... Mm, not too sure how much would be called spoilers or more contacts for other stuff out. Okay, I'm just getting my ass kicked by Blade Wolf. Okay. Yep. Okay, the window for parrying is a lot smaller. Can still block pretty decent. Yep, I see as that attack gets through. Come here. Yep. 
Come on, gotta break through. Yep, there we go. Yep. Okay, I... <laughs> The gap from easy to normal is pretty clear. Is pretty clear, huh? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Where's the chainsaw? Let's try it again. Yep. Still catches me off guard. I got you there. But he is he is super aggressive, which well makes sense. If he doesn't attack, he dies. Or mental death. It's basically the same. No, I won't. Okay, yeah, I did. <laughs> At least we're still early in, so if need be, I can drop the. Yeah, I can restart on the low, on the on easy difficulty. There we go. Okay, got all of those. Got all of that. Yeah, I think we really should take it easy, so you also commit it as well. now okay one more round should be enough I'm I'm carrying way too early like the red is to announce that the attack is coming not that it is at going to land was too late there. See, I, I, there. Come here, you. Ah, ah, damn it. Okay, we can still salvage this. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Okay, let's try it one more time, then we'll pull it down to easy. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there is a... There is a win... You can't constantly try to parry. Hmm. Oh, yo, come on. Nope. Okay. okay, yeah. Okay, we're trying this again on low. But maybe the game expects us to get some upgrades already, or can we even get upgrades? Let's see. Okay, no. Well, which also makes sense because, well, <laughs> Sam doesn't have cybernetics. And I guess you can uh, change it uh, in the options. <laughs> Don't think... Mm, we can check for that, but I doubt it. Uh, story... New game jet stream. Yep. Okay, easy. Uh, it's not easy as this mode to allow for automatic direction import when parrying. 
Uh, let's not, because I managed to get that done at least. Okay, it's not too far anyways. We can skip this. We can skip the tutorial. Oy, the smell. Okay. That samurai bastard came this way. There. Okay, I gotta imagine that on hard it's going to be even more freaking difficult. Yeah. Okay, then again, could just be a bit of bad placement with Blade Wolf just being so freaking aggressive. And speaking of being aggressive, there we go. There. Okay. There, deal with you. Really, dude, you didn't notice that? Oh, bye bye. Okay, I did not... <laughs> that one was um, entirely on accident with that. Okay, there's the box here. What is that, actually? Oh, red phosphorus grenade. Okay. Uh, wait, can you... Uh, try to see if you can upgrade now, before you enter. Yes, Sam doesn't have the... I'm pressing the other... I'm pressing what select or start, I can never tell which is the left one and the right, but... It's not doing anything. So yeah, we basic we just have Sam's basic uh, abilities. <clears throat> All right, and let me wonder why you even have the uh, B point. Uh, presume they can be used for. Uh, I think they can be used with uh, Raiden. I think that was said somewhere that you can do this side stuff to get BP for Raiden or something like that. We'll have to see. All right. Greetings. Okay, bad time to... Okay, even if your taunt gets uh, interrupted, it'll still have the effect. Okay, that one. Okay. He also jumps back after every attack, making it hard to get an actual counter-attack in. And he gets a lot easier... He's a lot easier stunned like this. There we go. <laughs> You fight because you're forced to. I fight because I choose to. My design is flawed. Now, now. I am quite good, you know. Okay, so Raiden wasn't the first time Wolf got beaten. Why so familiar? So nothing here. No, oop, there is something here. Let's see. EM grenades. Okay. 
Could an attack even be countered? There. Okay, give me that. So we still got her pretty decently. But this question looks like something could could work. Well, not almost. Okay, uh, I feel like we will not work this little uh, gliding with the water thing. Yeah, it, it would probably be too heavy for that. Yeah, if it was wheels? Maybe? Yep. Yeah, it wouldn't work on the water then, but yeah. With wheels, well, it the... definitely could work, but compared to other stuff in this world, it would probably be uh, still underpowered. Yeah. yeah. So, this water is not that deep, so some bigger wheels could handle this area just fine. Okay. We got an extra fuel cell from that. Okay, so any upgrades we get in this DLC are ones we find around the place. At last, our hero reaches the castle. Okay. Also, I found apparently there is something stupid you can do with these drum cans. Oop. Okay, no, we can't sneak attack anyway, so me as well. Yep, little assistant. There. Yeah, Sam strikes with this are a lot more practical, a lot less flashy than Raiden's. Well, he likes the cybernetics to be flashy. Yep. Really? Is, is that one of those stupid cameras? Not, I can't really say I see much of the use in the taunt. But it, let, it gets them more aggressive to attack, but I'm not seeing anything yet that puts it too much into our favor. Like, I presume they were supposed to take more damage or such, but they're being so aggressive that I, <laughs> I have to spend all the time blocking their attacks. And the parrying doesn't... They, they put so much force into their attacks that the parrying yeah, just turns more into blocking. So I'm not really sure I see much to use in it. They almost uh, really missing something. Yeah, the, the game has shown before that its tutorials are not the greatest. There. Let's see. Okay, health upgrades. Yep. Well, of course, we get visitors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that drone was just floating. It was just spinning around on its top. Uh. Here we go. Do that. Nope. Yep, add another slice. Okay. No, let's let's see if I can pull off that stupid thing with the drum can. I, yeah, you can quote unquote ninja run like this. What the heck? To the point of that happening. 
Just what I was looking for. Okay. But yeah, just the Metal Gear games. At once, some of the best, but also some of the stupidest games out there. These little jackasses. Okay, rid of you. Go. Yep, one more. Okay, really can't say I'm a fan of those little jackasses. Also, they're supposed to be called mini geckos, apparently. Go, oh, fight first. Still wonder what these are called. No, oh, oh, come on. At least get rid of that. Okay. Our turn to stun you, jackass. Okay. Okay, that sound almost looks like you take it is personal. <laughs> okay, two strikes to take care of the main thing and the freaking tripod. Yep. Yeah, how about you get some instead? As in slicing two. Okay. What's that? Come on. Bring down the walls. There we go. Okay. At least we got high enough to reach that. Let's see any boxes. There's a VR mission over there, but there's no need to go play those, I'd say. Unless they're supposed to be extra tutorials, in which case, yeah, they should have been put into tutorial. Okay. Welcome to Denver. I am Monsoon. We've been expecting you, Sam. Oh? They say you took on a drug cartel back in Brazil, all by yourself. Almost took it down, too. <laughs> if you had, another outfit would have taken its place. One way or another, it always goes back to business as usual. You realized that, didn't you, Sam? That's why you left. I was out for revenge. And I got it. Well then. Let's see what you got now. <laughs> and of course, Monsoon and his smoke grenades. Ooh. Okay, apparently they had a second one of these, or they repaired this one. You can actually, you can actually block that, sort of. Ow. Yep. Okay, you can actually, you can actually parry its stomps. Okay. Yep. Give me that. There we go. All sorts of little tiny pieces. Yep. No, you don't. Yep. Okay, yes, you do with that. Yep. 
Oop, there we go. I'm just absolutely mashing the buttons on these. <laughs> Probably doing much more than I need to, but it's fun. <laughs> oh, that's some of those rockets. Yep, Mr. Perry. There we go, bring it off balance. Come on, lock on. Okay, you can mix that charge attack in at any point, it seems. Maybe multiple points, perhaps. We'll have to see. Yep. Hello. Yep. Let's uh, get rid of that over chin of yours. Underbite. Oh, well. Okay, <laughs> can't complain. Did you get S rank uh, with the well uh, Raiden? But you haven't quite passed the test yet. Come on up to the top floor. It'd be a shame if we didn't meet after you went to all this trouble. Let's go that way. Okay, then we first look around for any other goodies. Let's see. Anything hidden around? Any upgrades? Let's see. I'm not seeing any, but still best to check. No need to make things harder on ourselves. Okay. Up we go. Uh, let me see. Bit of platforming, okay. Instant the veil. Yeah. Okay. Can I jump over this? No. Oh, but we can, of course, just cut through it. Okay. And if, okay, we don't have enough charge for the slowdown. Oh. Okay. There. Yep. And he just goes for a single swipe in the air. Fourth time's a charm. There, now it's out of the way. Okay. Do we even have anything to re restore? It's... Okay, yeah, we, we do have two, but no use to use them now. Uh, let's see. Nothing up there? Yep. There is some... No, oh, is that on the wall? No, that is on the wall. Let's see. Mac, turn the Metal Gear into mincemeat, defeated by a fence. <laughs> oh, there is something over there, I think. Yes, there is. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You, oh, I, I, I agree with Mac here. I agree fully with Mac. Yeah, the defense slowed us down longer than the war machine. How are you supposed to get over there? There isn't enough room to reach that with a with a double jump. There's nowhere to jump to. Hmm. Just doing it wrong. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh. We know that's there. It's probably uh, health up, but oh well. I can't get the jump right, and I'm not going to waste too much time on that. Drones. Switch targets. 
Не. There. Okay, luckily the... Okay, do all of them just spin like that? There we go. And there he goes. Okay. Let me guess. Need to push this. Yep. Then why, why do these people keep putting that blade away even though they're using their other hands? Okay. You're everything they said you were, Sam. Yet still so naive. And how is that? Outfits like ours, they're living things. You can't destroy them with violence alone. You may kill a part of it, a limb or two, but the main body will survive. Then I'll just have to kill all of it. All of you. <laughs> We're not some band of favela thugs. I told you, our outfit is a living thing with offspring, with influence. Our memes. You've destroyed plenty of street gangs all over the world. Yet, are we any closer to world peace? I'm not here for the world. I'm here for myself. Well, that's more like it. Let's just see how far that attitude gets you here, shall we? Okay. And now we're in the miniature city again. Or village, more likely, maybe. Okay, we've got... Uh, yeah, we've got soldiers on sliders. Let's just run in. No need, no time for ninja bullshit. Somewhat worked. <laughs> Not fully, but it still did. Uh, that's just a grenade. Uh, I can't. Okay. There. And now you. Yep. Missed the chance. There we go. You probably would have been better off just laying down, dude. Let's see. Nikita Goosey, <laughs> welcome to chat. Sam Gay. I don't think there's any ever anything said about the sexuality of these the characters in these games. Yep, except for Snake, because he has definitely gotten laid multiple times, I'm pretty sure. But Sam here. I don't think so. I don't think anything has been said about who he prefers. He prefers the blade, but that's not a... That's something different. <laughs> okay, I, I just can't resist. At least my Murasama must feel at home here. Nothing like a sword fight under the cherry blossoms. Are we going to annihilate the tree again? Nope. Missed an opportunity. Okay. Okay. I guess we took the other one out. Good. Because they would have attacked. Oh, there they are. Okay, okay. I thought they would have jumped at my neck already. Don't give them like these now. Okay. 
Uh, come here, puppy. There we go. Okay, definitely could have done a lot worse there. <laughs> Anything hidden up here? Oh, yes, there is. That's... Okay, that's health up. Okay, then I doubt that there is anything else nearby. Stuff like that is typically hidden a decent distance away from each other. Hello, what have... Oh, that's a VR mission. Okay, no interest. I do have some interest in you, though. Early enough to just cut you in half in one slice. This place is huge. Yep. Hello. <laughs> yep. Um. There we go. That was mostly just me flailing around. Yep. Come on. Yep. Ow. Really? It's going to get more and more visitors. Let's deal with you. There we go. So I was trying to get into the shots. Yep. Yep. I'll take that. Okay, last one. No, not last one. There. Yep. Okay, I knew I knew he was incoming, I just couldn't see where. Okay, any more elevator music that we're going to have to endure? go. Okay, and full restore. Now, did anyone leave any of these open for us? Hmm? This one. I'm impressed, Sam. Who is this? I'm but not surprised. You're one of the most qualified applicants we've ever had. Applicants? I'm not here for a job. <laughs> oh, but you're doing so well at our test, Sam. You're... Armstrong. I already have a job. Destroying men like you. Bastards who keep the status quo. Send others to die. All from your cushy corner office where... Well put, Sam. You and I have more in common than you think. Come on up to the roof for your final interview. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hurry! Don't want to keep the new boss waiting. Okay. There. Okay, what's over here? Enter security code. Wait. Are we going to need to cut someone's hand off to get access to that? Oh, hello. Well, this one doesn't have hands, I think. Okay. There. Let's pluck that thing straight out of, the, out of its brain. Okay. This one does open. Ah, right here. The VR training room. I'll grab that. Can I get through here? No. Enter security code. Okay. 
There. It's probably about as stealthy as we can be here. Okay, where's the last one? He's up above. Oh, it's a bigger one, so we can't cut you in one go. But we can get an early hit in. <laughs> okay, that would have been hilarious if that was a pit. <laughs> oh! My mother has well been for. Um... He, still, he still survived that flurry. Okay. Uh, that's well, rather, they still had a sword, but have no arm, arms to use it with. Who likes to stand wet? Looks like I'll need to slice up some security until they drop one. Okay. Now for the real fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got interrupted by the grenade there. Okay, let me grab that. Oh. And see, see if I had a second one with that one. There. Thank you for your donation. Oh, and we have our next volunteer. Oh dear. Just gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, why do we have a extra bit here? Guessing we can find something in here that's useful then? Or we can stumble into this room. Yep, for <laughs> extra enemies. There. Get rid of that armor. You'll get your turn. Be patient. Yep, another one I was aiming for. Can I? Yes, you actually can cut those in pieces <laughs> mid-flight. Okay, get rid of you. Get the camera somewhere better. Okay. There. Come on. Let me cut that off as well. Okay. And there. Okay. There you go. Back for now. Welcome back. And what did you shred? Uh, two of those uh, grads. The roadblock things. Okay. See? Hmm. Actually... Yep, never mind. I wanted to check back if we could get through that other uh, door which needed a code. But too late for that now. Okay. Here again, which means, yep. yep. Okay, this time there's no mini gecko screwing around over there. Okay. Really?
Come on. Oop. Just a bit too far away. Come on. There we go. First S in this DLC. Probably the last. As well. <laughs> Look who it is. Sam, thanks for coming in. What's your game, Armstrong? Gonna talk me to death? <laughs> like I said, son, time for your final interview. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? At the very least, they would have noticed it happening freaking twice. Okay, same, uh, same three uh, hit attack with that. Okay. Okay, the longer... Uh, ah, damn it. Yep. Okay, that move was new. Yeah, the quick one is these. The long wind-up is... The long wind-up is the AoE. Like... Nope. Come on! Okay, that now splits it up two ways. Okay, managed to dodge it this time. Uh, come on. Okay, do I have... Let's see, we do have some of these. A uh, full stack of these. Okay, we'll need them. Okay, that's one. Gone. Okay. No time for aerial bullshit. Except for this aerial bullshit. Yep. Okay, you really seem to favor this attack for some reason, huh? Which should have. Which should have absolutely shattered this landing pad by now. Okay, here we go with Monsoon's bullshit. And even his music starts playing. Or no? No. Yeah, no, this, this is from Axelus. Yeah. 
Yep. Come on. Missed me. Yeah, but I, I, <laughs> I dodged into the fire. A long one. That did not miss. Come on. Yep, got the second one. Almost. There we go. Hey, boy, it's all right. violence, waging war as business. We're gonna put an end to all that bullshit. Maybe... Maybe I misjudged you. Then how about it? Will you lend us a hand? A hand, eh? How about I take yours? Losing a limb or two won't stop us. The hell? The job's yours. Welcome aboard. just exactly destroying the army he'd need to shake that. Oh dear. Yep. 
Okay, a bunch of extra fights I missed, apparently. Probably in the VR missions. Alright. Mm. Yeah, credits for the DLC. Uh, I hope I'm these aren't going to be as last long yeah, as long as the last. But yeah, that just that shows uh, how Jet yeah, Jetstream Sam ended up uh, with Desperado. Looking down on the cars on the highway. That also puts a bit of context to uh, after, yeah, during their first meeting between uh, Raiden and, and Sam. He basically tried to uh, presumably offer him the same offer of joining them, but Raiden refused. Okay, I hope this doesn't take too long, because we definitely have enough time for the second DLC. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, it looks like that Nikit Nikitka they immediately bailed after asking if Sam is gay. Like that <laughs> kind of question is that to start things off with. Okay. Yes, I'm really hoping these are shortened. I presume it wouldn't take as many people to make this DLC as the main game. Though I can't really tell. Now, we didn't see anything about Raiden or such, so yeah, they were only showing work, uh, people who worked on uh, the DLC, not the main game as well. Okay. Hmm. Uh, and sliced up the uh, drug bars. And some Alpha spicy sons, mayo. Motion action. Okay. Now, this is going through it real fast, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, so, I guess you were listing <laughs> ingredients for your sandwich? Uh, it was not a sandwich, it was, uh, that's all on the plate. <laughs> okay. So, it's... I was sure we would call this a regular kebab, it's more like... I don't want to call it nuggies, but uh, these kebabs are kind of... Sh Nugget form of some sort? Junks? Yes, a, a chunky heart shaped one. I still don't sure why these are. It tastes like kebab, yes, just not your standard shape of a kebab. Hmm. It tastes good though. Alright. Hmm. I personally don't see much. I just personally don't see much of the uh, appeal of quote-unquote chicken nuggies. Of just the word chicken nuggies itself. It's just, I just find odd. Yeah. I, mm. I don't dislike them. But I have eaten things that feel like it tastes better than chicken nuggets. Yeah, I prefer filet instead of... Well, just baked, you know, grilled filet instead of just uh, battered and deep fried. Yeah. Uh, preferences. I, I do like uh, crispy burgers. Dude, that's more of a. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you could compare it to a chicken nugget, but it's more of a just fillet inside the breading. Okay. Let's see. Any after credits? This Oops. is official state business. Back to the beginning. Maybe I should have done this before the main story, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Okay. 
Let's see. Title Violent Gale. Complete DL story one in 40 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Onwards. Okay. All right, we did need to replay a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that leaves one more DLC story. So, continue here. Story. Blade Wolf. Okay, again, just go on easy, but not too easy with the auto <laughs> with the auto block. LQ eighty four I acknowledge. I have your orders. You will see them through down to the letter, or else. <laughs> well, you know what we do to naughty AIs, don't you? I trust that will serve as adequate motivation. <laughs> so. Your orders are to eliminate a certain pesky politician. I have marked the objective on your radar. Okay, you're starting right in through it. The target star is parked in front of the hotel. Head there now. Judging from your data, you are not very well suited for battle. It is probably wise to avoid unnecessary fighting. She says as we're already in combat. There. Okay. Through here. Assault claw and horizontal saw. Okay. There he is. Eliminate him. Good doggy. VR mission complete. Yep. We made the limo into a convertible. <laughs> or at least an open top. <laughs> well, what did you think of the exercise? Mission accomplished. The target was neutralized. <laughs> that giant intellect, and this is all you have to say? I obey the orders I am given. I was not ordered to gather data on the merits of the mission. Perhaps you are more like a dog than I thought. Your kill count, though, it is disappointing. Perhaps Sundowner was right. You lack man's killer instinct. Well, there are several methods we might use to help give you that edge. Repress your emotions through certain training scenarios over and over. Or teach you that following orders absolves you of responsibility. Instill a fanatical belief in our cause. That our enemies deserve death. Or perhaps convince you that they aren't people at all. That they are less than human. That they are like animals. Thieves. Possess neither man's killer instinct nor his moral urge to resist it. None of your methods would be effective. <sighs> Are you saying I cannot teach you any new tricks? <laughs> Very well. Continue your training. So why is there one and a half? Um, you sure you want to ask that? Uh, let's see what difference we have. Practical combat training. Eliminate all cyborgs you find in the VR. Uh. Do we even have a counter as Blade Wolf? Okay, we do. Ooh. All three of them. There we go. Thank you. Mm, not bad. 
keep it up. Okay, second one. Use dash to move at high speed. Okay. Jump over obstacles in your way. I guess my wheel down, but again, it wasn't really big. Like, just, just, as it just wasn't socially free. Beat. Yeah. I gotta Roll call your them. Knife to damage enemies <laughs> wait, wait, from afar. Seven. It's sub weapon. There. Okay. That's. Okay, they are wider than they look, or they hit wider than they look. Okay. But enough chit chat. Just do what comes naturally, yes? Okay. Are we here? You know what? Have we grab an ice cream as a dessert? Just always is so bloody warm. Thank you. Yep. Uh, you with the last one. And yeah, like with Raiden, sub weapons get thrown straight, well, thrown, thrown or fired straight ahead. Remember what you have learned here. Should you embarrass me? Well, it just would not do. Why does he need to feel the roar? Or howl? Howl? I mean. I really gotta take your little toy AI along. The more the merrier, no? Uh, yeah, whatever. Different AI, but it's still just an LQ84. And your ID. Oh, it speaks. I'm Camson, aka. The Desert Storm. You will be joining him on the next mission. Buckle the fuck up, little doggy. Remember this. We're bringing freedom here if it kills us. Or better yet, them. I would not know about freedom. <laughs> then get ready for an education. <laughs> we must see who gets the education. Mistral, our mission is to spread freedom. If so, then why am I never offered a choice? Why? Well, that's... <laughs> and she has no answer for that. Okay, more VR. Denver this time. For this simulation, we have recreated the mission area in VR. Head to the target indicated on your map. Okay. That's here. Got some extra knives. Let's see. Can we go for stealth kills with Blade Wolf? Yes, we can. Holy! It's simple one, two, done. Let's see, there's someone that way. Getting snuck on fun by a half ton war machine. Okay. Yeah, you know how much that uh, thing would weigh? It maybe like a bike. Hello. And goodbye. Uh, my bike need to... like a motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> Not a, bicycle, a normal but... cycle would weigh a few hundred 
<laughs> kilograms less than this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no chance of getting through this sneakily. Yep, volunteer. Oh, why those big ones make me think of space marines? <laughs> Maybe the, uh, this suit it reminds me of the, uh, the thing that went under the armor. Yep. Ow. Maybe. And the, I can also say, it's the whole uh, I thing that also have going on that can, uh, reminds me of the OTC on a space marine. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that would whip. For a moment, I thought you meant uh, Blade Wolf, but yeah, on the the Mastiffs here, it is it does look lo closer to a Space Marine helmet. But like in many of those sorts of helmets have a tendency to look alike. Yeah, and I think I heard that when they redesigned Space Marine helmet the first time, it was inspired by Dolph Vader, I think. Okay. This can explain the world. Well, I suppose mouthing. that is that. Now for your next mission. Okay. Hello. Oh, we're, we're actually hiding behind the couch. Oh. Okay. okay. Oh, there we go. Just straight through and through. Bloody heck. Was that a con was that only animation for this or Yeah, it was only an animation for the start here. Okay. Would have been curious if we could have hit more actively. Okay. There's our target here. Yep. Yep, there we go. One line through. Okay, typically when you cut through them with blade mode, or cut through these normal ones with blade mode, they go down in one hit, but that one actually, that one actually took another slice. Let's see. Okay, probably I mean, best to go for the... Hmm? Uh, uh, I still don't need why they need this model, they uh, name him Wolf, Blade Wolf. I feel like they feel more feline than a wolf. Enemy uh, they aren't called Blade Wolf yet. And while well, the, the skeleton... Ew. The frame that uh, Doctor made for him did for a good part... Yeah. Fit with a wolf. Plus there's a whole lone wolf stuff. Don't they? And, and yeah, the other really sign looks a little bit more wolf like, at least on the head. Get rid of that rocket launcher. And get rid of. Come on, get rid of those legs. Come on. Oh, that also works. Just <laughs> juggling it like that. There we go. There you go. No shitty little tripod that jumps out. Let's see, Mac. Don't question naming conventions for the MGs. I mean, the gecko's moo after all. Good point with that. Very good point. Very good point, Dad. Yep. 
And that's that. Not bad. I will give you your next set of orders when you reach your objective. Okay. There, controller lost power. Okay, is it time to swap its batteries? Looks like it. Okay. Let's see, do these then have any charge? Okay, uh, plus and minus. The yeah. Yes, yes, in a second. <laughs> yep. Okay, connecting. Okay, putting these in the charger. Okay, there we go. A bit of a perfect time for the... Uh, oop. Uh, a bit of a perfect time for the thing to run out. Mirror match. No, you don't. Or no, I don't. Just how many parts can we turn ourselves into? Can we pass 300? Yes, we can. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, that came with a health upgrade. Nice. And S rank. S rank. Okay, we were basically bullying our copy there. Okay. Heading back outside. All right, Doggy. This is the final mission. Make use of platforms and footholds to reach your goal. Okay, so we're just going to turn this into Mario. There we go. That didn't particularly need it, but might as well take it. Okay. Oop. What do we have here? There. Okay, extra fuel cell. More expanded fuel cell. Okay. Case of a fight, let's try and take you out. There we go. <laughs> and the Mastiff heard that, I think. Okay. Let's see. This way. Just pick up the DP. Go and there. Okay. Oop, there's another box over there. May as well go grab that. It's that's supposed to be a bomb of sorts. Yep. Really? Yep. Yes, really. Ow. Okay, I don't like how I can't really turn the camera once I've locked on to something. There we go. Now the other one. Yep, there's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the timing. Okay, 
once again almost pulled off the you know, the cover off my of the control stick there. Wait, I should have stay bleeding. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I guess it's a cyborg. It could be animal parts included, but overall it is still considered a UG, so a drone. Uh, let's give this another try. And if we fall again, we just head towards there. Yep. Oh, I guess we head over there then. Wait, can we get can we get up where this thing goes down? Or does it not go low enough? It does not go low enough. Okay. Oh, going to get an absolutely terrible time score on this. box over there. Very clearly do not want to jump into whatever these are. So there. Okay, some repair paste. Oop. There. Also, I should probably equip these. Just in case something manages to beat us down enough to actually get us to zero. Oop, there's the other one. There we go. <laughs> Did not intend to lure him over, but I'll take it. Is it actually easier to get up from this side? Yes, it is. Oh, and what do we have? Oh, one of these 3D photo frames. Okay. There, there. And yeah, judging from how heavy Blade Wolf sounds, he is plenty heavy. Like, I'm pretty sure if you put him in water, he has absolutely zero chance of making it to the surface. Just by his own weight, and not just the fact that he well, has claws, which are not designed for swimming at all. Uh. That is it for your VR training. Tomorrow, we commence the operation. Have yourself fully defragged and ready. Hunt kills. Okay, so that's what they're called here, st inst instead of stealth kills. The assembly building and palace are under our control. Did not care to join in the fun? No, I see no reason to fight. Well, I am sure you will get your reason soon enough. Miss Troll. Russia cannot intervene officially, but they will not just hand over the gate to their precious pipeline. It will not be long before we see UGs or cyborgs from one PMC or another. Logically, yes. Scout out the city while you still can. My orders are to stay at your side. Well, that simply won't do, now will it? Disengage your range inhibitor. I am free to go wherever I choose. For now, but just remember, I can switch it back at any time.
First the breaking LCA opportunity. Oh, dodging that. Carrying that. And dealing with that. Also, oh, you sure you want to get up close, dude? Yep. There. Like, seriously, dude, you, you you just straight up walked into a murder machine. Out of range. No sign of Mistral up there. Give me that grenade. Okay. Can we even... Okay, we cannot go back in. Okay, we can screw with the door, but we can't actually go in. Okay. <laughs> just, just checking out of curiosity. Okay, how did that thing not see... Okay. Could I? Can I actually? Yes, I can just take them out with one shot like this. Okay. There we go. Still two little blips here. So that's why the damn thing has knives on it. Hello. And goodbye. Okay, I was half expecting him to actually try and jump up to our side. No, cl no alert clear. Okay, that's the first one we've gotten of that kind. Well done. Yeah, I was half expecting him to jump up to us and just let, so I could just instantly go into blade mode and cut him in half. I go. Nope. Immediately spotted by someone spawning in behind us. Yeah. You're being awfully cocky for someone within chainsaw distance, dude. Well, he was. Until he was chainsawed. Oh, bloody. <laughs> Oh, you got a D for that one. Okay. Oh. Can we... Yes. I can. Let's get that off of you. Well, that was a new one. Come on. There we go. Now they're getting caught. Yeah, that, that doesn't land as hard when you don't have the place to smack with, huh? Are you sure that's something? Mm -hmm. okay. I think I may realize a flaw in the same with this idea. That is... He's an anarchist, he's correct? Basically, survival of the fittest and such. How will that destroy the war business? Yeah. The only way you could do that is by literally just destroying everything that is any stronger than you. Yep. It. Nano paste used. So, basically... Yeah. 
Whoever makes the weapon steal me, steal make a profit from it. Yeah. Ow. Come on, let me get out of this. Okay. Rid of those. That really explains why I don't like it. I'm, I know that it, it, it was, he was talking about bullshit. Uh, yeah. I've been trying to figure out in what way he was trying to try to figure out his logic and yeah there, there is no logic yeah but using war as a business and trying to get rid of war as a business yeah you're you're feeding the thing you say you're trying to destroy right. let me destroy this stupid thing now thank you there yeah no no so do on that or uh, thing about uh, the stronger survive is also yours. And even if he game. had succeeded, he would have just taken the top spots uh, instead. Is an electromagnetic yeah. barricade. It uses the EMP wave to disable any UG or cyborg that tries to cross. Unless you are a contractor with the proper access code, of course. Now what? Kill a contractor and take his access code, perhaps? A pity little pets like yourself aren't given the code, hmm? This is something. It's... But yeah. He, he, he just wants the freedom to destroy everything in his way. Yeah. Okay. We need to try and grab that one. Where I think we just need to kill him. Well, we'll probably need to kill all of these anyways. So that's not going to make too much of a difference. Hmm. Anyway, we can try and get any of these stealthily. That's one. I just realized... Mm. May this become a shorter stream today? Yeah. New Looks like it. Now I'm kind of curious if we missed other conversations like that due to, well, not even trying to be stealthy. Hmm. Nope. Okay, I was about to make a move for this guy when that one turned away. But then, yeah, he turned towards us. Go. I'm curious if we can take out the gecko stealthfully. Actually, we can. It looks so dirty. Can we go for another no alert? Comes the big bad wolf, ready to blow down your EM wall. There we go. So, what now? You think you will run to the coast to freedom? Ha! Let me save you time. You won't make it. Just give up now, while you still can. Eat. I spy mastiffs. Okay, another gecko. Let's see if I can continue the stealth streak. Mm -hmm. 
too far away to jump down on that one, but I think he's coming back. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, so he act there's actually different animations for attacking from the front and back. Not from above. Okay. Ooh, learning something new every day. Yeah, I, I feel like... It. Blade Wolf is more Ninja than Raiden. Okay. Last one. There we go. Lobotomize the moving <laughs> war machine. Okay. A due to the time, I presume, there. Let's see. Oop. Something here. Okay, electro paste. Oop. Oop, missed me. No, you don't. But I will. There. Okay, that in with this. Uh, we can't just go around this gate. There. Oh, another LQ84. Now that I think about it, LQ84, like 1984, maybe. Even if, yeah, we can even if, yeah, we can even activate those attacks from midair. Let's see. Two LQs. I honestly didn't think we could sneak attack these. Bloody heck! These these lack the red forehead. Hmm. There we go. Now I am kind of curious how far you can get through the game without any without raising an alert. Or how many encounters you can fight through without raising alerts. heavies right here and then just uh, okay another heavy up there and a normal guy down there <laughs> okay that that was because the one upstairs spotted me, but it that would have been hilarious if I managed to sneak around him like that. Oh, okay, it's the rocket jackass dealing the damage. It's stunning. Okay. Let me take that off of you. Yep. Yep. Okay, where are you, little fuck? There you are. There. Okay, there you were. There, I'll take that as recompense. It's 31 parts from just those few slashes. Okay. 
Let me take that off of your hands and arms <laughs> and legs. Okay, so much for the stealth streak. Oh, bloody heck. Yep, new boss. Missed me. And yeah, ironic that he tells the uh, the slave they try to use for their quote unquote cause for freedom. Ah, oh, damn it. The freedom to take away everyone else's freedom, basically. Yep, no you don't. Guess we get to fight our own miniature mini me Metal Gear here. Ah, damn it. Ah, again. Okay, at least we're about halfway there. Uh, hello. And uh, maybe I will. Extra repair paste. Ah, yeah, come on. There's no time to play baseball with the war machines. Good at bashing us around into getting stunned at least. What are you up to? Yeah. Okay, we were going specifically for the arm. See, 300 plus. I just scatter him across the beach.
Yeah, good enough. Much left to explode there. What have you done? Why, I have activated your range inhibitor. Of course. <laughs> you deceived me. Such a mighty intellect, indeed. Then I am lost. Shake. Shake. like it. So, just after that was when Raiden saved you? Yes, he freed me. Like me, he had been forced to kill. He has witnessed the dark side of human nature. But still, he continues to fight for what he believes in. Yeah. And that's why I believe in him. He'll keep holding on to it and won't Never let it go. Hmm. Uh, wagging his tail. Should be wagging a lot uh, during this playthrough. <laughs> I'm always swaying about. <clears throat> I'm not sure why my mouse appeared during the cutscene there. Uh, wait, I'm pretty sure I finished this. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I never finished this, but I'm pretty sure I got to Kasim. They better with Kasim. Kasim, whatever. <laughs> Even the main game forgets his existence. But yeah, all of that's for a bit of internal politicking. Uh, Michael Beatty as Blade Wolf, Sally Safiotti as Minstro uh, yeah, Mistral, and Benito Martinez as Cassin. But yeah, like Blade Wolf said, you can't force our freedom onto people, especially not by, well, driving your country into fucking chaos, like Desperado was doing. Ugh. And the question is, he crushed me for that even was freedom. They, they, they seem... 
Yeah, they, they, they have a very dangerous view of freedom that is actually more oppressive. Yeah, more, it's more like freedom to oppress others than actual freedom. Like, if you're, if you're fighting for quote-unquote freedom using slaves, you are not as holy as you make yourself out to be. Not even close. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is where yeah the Metal Gear franchise ends re at the moment. Though, honestly, it's not really expected to see it continue, seeing as well the whole Konami and Kojima fallout, and well, nobody acknowledges Metal Gear Survive. <laughs> but yeah, still would have been curious to see where the rest of the franchise would have gone after this. Because, yeah, at, this is the last point in the timeline. There is still Metal Gear Solid 5 that came out after this, but that's a prequel, mid-prequel. Uh, the whole timeline stuff with this series is an entire essay on all on its own. But I definitely would have liked to see more Blade Wolf. <laughs> I mean, many world, many yeah. world. I should take a look to see if he's maybe popped up in other things. Cameo is research, but a bit unlikely. And I'm, yeah, short stream for today, it seems. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Like, sure, we can play something else for two hours, but a bit, I don't really have anything prepped for it. Yeah, I'd say we leave it at this. Yeah, so, like it for best. What have we said for? What have we said as a possible follow-up to this? Oh, what was it? I knew we spoke about it. Let me see. I have the prep games right over here. Uh, oh, actually, that reminds me. I know what we can put on the weekends. Since, uh, well, Dave the Diver got an update. Oh, right. Now I remember. Now I remember. You were talking about American Fugitive. Yeah, but... Then we, then you remind me uh, probably not to do in the hot season because that will just piss you off yet further. Yeah, mm. we do have blast, uh, blast or something. Uh, blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Doctor Creed and such, but those are mostly showcases we've done recently. I think another game we could put here that would be sort of fitting, especially since well the last boss there fought, uh, fought in the Mecca. Uh, Titanfall 2. I thought we put that on a no due to how old. Co oh. From what I saw, to remember, if we'll maybe try to showcase it. Discord. It, it was pixelation, pixelation, pixelation fest with yeah. that game. Well, we, we can test it then to see if it behaves now. Because <clears throat> it has been a while since we showcased that. Yeah, I thought we put that on no for some reason. Hmm. Let me check the list. Uh, let's see. Deadly to its prey, less than 40 minutes. Uh, let me look. take a look at the list on the Discord. Uh, da -da -da, games list. Uh, P. Uh, transistor. <laughs> Up higher, tiny and big. Uh, Titanfall one and two, I have it set as a plus, which is a eventual yes, or is it just a All yes? Right. Yeah, we'll we'll test it. We have a week to test it. Uh, it runs well on the computer, so that's not an issue. Hmm. So yeah, we'll just but have to see if it behaves uh, with Discord. Yeah, for again, it's a bit like it be uh, for what I remembered, it was worse in pixelation compared to Doom, and that's something. We'll see. I may need to turn down the graphics some. And yeah, like Max says, Titanfall One is multiplayer only. So yeah, we're skipping straight to two. Yeah, but wait, hmm. didn't we have something about Retro Machina or Machina something? We also have that still installed, as well as Rayman Redemption. 
Uh, there's been no big updates with Slime Rancher 2. Freedom plan that I have ready. Origami is already planned in somewhat. Uh, for Chroma Squad, I've played a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, at the moment, let's say Titanfall 2 as our new Saturday game. And yeah, if it doesn't behave during testing, we can yeah we can pick up Dave the Diver again. Oh dear! <laughs> uh, wait, which DLC has arrived this time? The Godzilla DLC. Wait, I thought that one was already out. Nope, that was the dredged one, or dredge one, not dredged. Oh dear. Let's see, anything in this collection here? Let's see, what? Uh, titles? Okay, there's a lot of these. Let's see, Jack the Ripper, cut your enemy at least a thousand times using blade mode. Uh, Harry, I, oh, they, these must have been from, uh, yeah, these must be developers or sites from the, the hands we cut off, I'm presuming. Okay. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Men in box, MIB. Men in boxes, three, two. Seems we missed number one then. And some more. Okay. A bunch of data th storage things we've missed. Anything? Okay, concept art. <laughs> yeah, the geckos. Okay. Yeah, still plenty to find in this game. Yes. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, that'll be left for my own time. For now, we can call it a stream there. And oh, all right. So, also something. Uh, apparently, we missed a hell of a lot of these because apparently you can call in during boss fights. Yep. What the? Uh, what? Holy! What? That was a loud thunder. <laughs> okay, I I thought something fell over and wait there. Oh, you heard there, it. There are... How many of these are there just in the first... Oh. Might be quicker to go the other way. No. Okay, so... Wait, there are 60... <laughs> there are 69 of these we can call for, or are these just separate just parts each? Just as close as you can and keep attacking. Chip away at that armor long enough, and sooner or later you must break through. Most impressive, Raiden. Yeah. Gonna have to do a lot more than float around like that to beat me. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So, now you are in Sukumi Old Town. Pretty much still the same as after war in 1990s. Looks like it. Make your way through town. You'll need to pass through an abandoned hotel to reach the hill. The hotel is serving as headquarters for cyborg forces patrolling the new city. <laughs> well, striking... <laughs> Trust me. Oh, okay, just... This just goes to show, I guess, to how many of these we freaking missed per chapter itself. Just how many? Oh, okay, 10 there, 13. Also, I just looked outside the window. I see no dark clouds. So are you sure that was a thunder or what? That could be... Yeah, the thunder could be on the other side of Bindley for all I know. Okay, looks like chapter 1 has the most of them all. Okay. And yeah, in the last one, Sunny gets added. How many? Still 13 of these for Sunny. Okay, I, I'm, I'm curious what the specific triggers are for each of those. Like, have you, do you have to call in multiple times? Because the, the time from uh, the start of this mission up to the fight is really short. Huh. I might need to actually go look at the video just covering all of those codex calls. Oh dear. But yeah, for now, that's where we'll call it for today. So, before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. So, let me change over the screen share. I think it's an this idea to oh wait. That might be our main, if we've mainstream the Orcam games. 
Yeah, those were definitely going on the main week. Hmm. Let's see, we have... Okay, just enough to not be... Uh, to not need an expansion here. Let's see, we have Jackson Sam playing Duck Detective, the secret salami. Okay, I've seen that game pop up in my Steam queue, and it looks interesting enough that I wishlisted it. But... Uh, from what I think, it's, I think it's a sort of point and click adventure akin to Monkey Island, but with ducks. Uh, let's see, next we have Chubbers the Moon Seal with Persona 5 Royal. Lost My Frog is playing Stardew Valley. Ruffy Raccoon is playing Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, the PC version it is. I have the PlayStation uh, version, and I do plan to eventually stream that. Though I'm unsure where exactly I should put open world games like that. Uh, like, I know technically the three of the four Arkham games count as open world games, but they have a more direct line with uh, story and such. So I'm thinking if we'd ever get to uh, Ghost of Tsushima and such, that we'd put them on Saturday here, maybe? We'll have to see. Yeah, mm. definitely will need to be uh, long streams, like uh, yeah. three, four hours. Then we have K9 playing Rocket Rumble. I th for a second I thought it was Rocket League, but no. Uh, let me double check that everything is muted. Uh, there. Let's pop that into the side of the stream. <laughs> I forgot to bring that up earlier. Uh, Rocket Rumble, what is this? As, well, as that loads in and the stupid ads play. Okay, no ads this time. Uh, okay, is this some sort of one-on-one -on -one racing thing, or is this just a... Hmm. Okay, either way, look, continuing on, we have Kiri Natsuyoko, who is playing uh, Old School Roomscape. And <clears throat> Tikowski is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. WBPL is playing... Tears of the Kingdom. I really, I really do want to stream that and uh, Breath of the Wild eventually as well. Probably also in the Saturday slot because just how long it can take. And let's see, the last two we have Horatius the Dwarf playing Anoitra the Lost Song. Can't say I've heard of that ever. I so think I have. That as well. Oh, what have you heard then? Uh, that's kind of it. I I okay. and I have seen the name, but okay, they only just started. It. It seems. Uh, okay, looks like a Souls like. And uh, last but not least, the yeah, last but not least, we have Profound Badness playing Power Bomberman. Is that just a new Bomberman game or something? Yep, yes, maybe not new, maybe. But okay, yeah, this is. <laughs> It's Bomberman with multiplayer, okay. Uh, any of those stick out to you, or shall I take a pick? Uh, let you take a pick. Let's go see Jackson Sim then, and uh, see what this game is to duck about. So, Bailey. copy name. Yes, I went for the easy one. Have you ever expected better of me? No, or yet <laughs> sometimes. Okay, well, slash so... raid, paste. And yeah, we'll definitely be picking up some. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I, I, the chat was hidden for a sec, so let me see. Mac, especially for Ghost, it's a rather big game. Okay, so yeah, definitely for the long slots. <clears throat> I, I, could, I could miss that. I could miss say that really badly long slots <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but yeah raid is ready but before we start that of course let's uh not that uh, thank you everyone who's watching now or later thank you mac thank you ta -ta -ta, nikitka and tafel place thank you for the follow as well uh, do we have any known lurkers not from the side of it oh uh, well and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And speaking of thank you, Burg Mac, for joining. And yeah, tomorrow. Yep. 
Uh, close enough, I guess. You have called them Burger Mac as well, but so we'll see which it is. Uh, yeah, Mac, till next time, boys. Yeah, tomorrow, likely Minecraft. Uh, but we'll see about that. Uh, yeah, I really need to think of something to new to do. I have been reworking the tower a bit. But outside of going to hunt for the, uh, the Ender Dragon, I don't really know what more there is to do. I don't actually. I don't think I've shown off the uh, Wilden Chimera, so that could be a, a thing we could show. Uh, Wait, I think you have. But have you had it? You had that on stream even. I'm unsure. But if we have, then it'll just be a repeat. <laughs> okay. But yeah, for now, let's get it right started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and have a lovely weekend. <laughs> and watch out for cybernetic seagulls. Do as well. <laughs>